Yeah, for the most part, it is government health officials who determine who gets tested for coronavirus. But now some people are saying more and more, actually, that there should be more and more people getting tested, especially those who are especially susceptible to this sort of disease. I'm a high school science teacher. Diane Gorman teaches at Jackson High, where one student has contracted the coronavirus. A handful of people at the school were identified as being at risk after having come into contact with the student and are being monitored for the virus. Diane Gorman was not one of them. You think that would bring a relief, but Gorman already has a rare disease and is immunocompromised. She believes she's experiencing symptoms, but because she isn't on that watch list, she can't get tested. The science teacher says she's been told she isn't sick enough to get tested, and she worries if she does get to that point, it may be too late. So by the state not being able to test people unless they are literally in the hospital, you know, dying or on this very short list of who they consider um, in danger, they are putting the most vulnerable of their population in incredible risk. It's very easy to dismiss us as a group, but to not care about two and a half percent of your population that could die from this disease as it spreads, which is basically the message we're sending if we are not going to test anyone except the very, very ill, then th that disease is going to sweep through and kill the people that are susceptible. We've tried to get some answers from county health officials here today, but they would not comment specifically on Diane Gorman's case, except to say that perhaps she didn't meet the CDC guidelines for testing or that her doctor may not have been able to rule out other causes for her symptoms like the common flu. In Everett tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.